Are you in a band? Want to get signed to a major label, tour the world and have a mountain of groupies? Well, first things first, you're going to have to get yourself a good manager. A band manager is the bread to your butter, the ash to your Pikachu, the call to your gang. It's easy to think of a band manager as a project manager. They're in charge and they're there to find the right person for the right job. The manager is the link between the band and everything else. They liaise between the label, the booking agent and all parties before the band do so. So you want to release an EP? Speak to the manager. You want to tour North Korea? Speak to the manager. You feel that you've been enlightened and you've strayed from your hipster roots and now you want to perform in Dragon Cover Whitney Houston? Speak to the manager because they also deal with the artist development. A band manager typically gets paid 20% of the band's earnings. However, this isn't a fixed fee, as demonstrated by Colonel Tom Parker, who was Elvis Presley's manager and took home a whopping 50%. Being in your band, you've finally been offered that record deal with that major label, negotiated and confirmed by, guess who, your manager. So you think that you're going to start to gain some independence as you leave your home to head out on tour? WRONG! You've been spoon-fed so much by a hard-working team of business-savvy professionals that you've forgotten how to do the most simplest of tasks, such as what your favourite coffee is and how to order it, let alone all the band stuff where you were DIYing it before. Being in a band, you're going to encounter a lot of different decisions. Should I have a pink mohawk or should I have a blue mullet? Pepperoni pizza or barbecue chicken? To play the lamb rising from hell? or cover Lady Gaga at the end of year Christmas charity show. The manager will assist in this decision making process as well as dishing out advice on set lists.